Hello everyone, this is Juno Marklund, technical artist at KG Interactive, here with my main man Lech from Echo Tales, my item shop, to take a look at the new volumetric fog found inside of Unreal 4.16. So let's just first of all go over what's inside of this scene. This is basically just the first person example map, and I've removed a lot of stuff, and What's still here from the beginning is the light mass importance cube, the post-processing volume with nothing but unbound check. There's a sky sphere blueprint and a sphere reflection capture. And that's it. There's nothing special about this scene at all. So to get our volumetric fog to work, we first of all will have to pull out our exponential height fog into the level. And Let's increase the density quite a lot to something like that. Now we see we have a lot of fog in here. Let's also turn on volumetric fog. And this is what it's going to look like to begin with. So we we'll want to go to the light source and under light and advanced lighting, we want to turn on atmosphere fog sunlight. And since this is a stationary light, we will have to rebuild. So let's just make it movable for now. Okay, cool. And we have our point light here with quite a high intensity. So let's pull that down. And with the point light, we have this volumetic scattering intensity, which we can pull up and pull down. You can see this really nice volumetric effect taking place. We can also turn on volumetic shadows and that's not going to be very visible now so let's turn on these three volumetric particle systems that I created and now if we turn on volumetric shadows for both of these point lights you can see that whatever is occluded goes just a little bit darker like this quite nice it's even more noticeable if we take this our spotlight and we turn off inverse square fall off and I just got the intensity really low to 500 here and as you can see we get this really really nice volumetic lighting going through this fog we can also turn on shadows on this one and as you can see I mean just look at that that looks amazing Let's take a look at some more things that might be of interest. Like, how are these particle systems made? Well, the particle system is... Let's just make a new one, actually. There's nothing special about it. A particle system. And let's jump into it. So this is just a starting particle system, like you said. So I'm just going to turn off the initial velocity. Go to initial size and set that to a vector constant. And I'm just going to increase this to something like 500. Then we go to spawn, and yeah, we're going to keep this as a float constant and set this to 1. And under required, let's select one of these volumetric materials. Let's go for this one with the R. And I'll get back to this in just a second as we compile. All right, I'm going to pull this particle system out. And whoop, there we have this really nice volumetric effect going on once again it's really cool so that that's it for the particle system nothing fancy at all if we turn on the initial velocity you can see that it's it's moving up it's so awesome let's get rid of that yeah okay so these are the volumetric materials and the reason i have the rgb is just because i made a mask for them so let's start off by going into Substance Designer and checking out this mask. It's just a disk and a square and then this sort of nice crescent shape. And then inside of these three materials I've just pulled different masks from different slots in the texture sample. So we have this scattering first up which will go into the albedo and 
this setting we also have for the overall exponential fog. Just below the volumetric fog we have scattering distribution. And as it says here, if you have this at 9 or 0 0.9, the light isn't going to travel around as much inside of the volume. It's just going to travel from the light and through the volume. So as you can see, like this one coming in from the side, the only reason we can really see it is because it's also turned towards us. On the other hand, if we go into the exponential height and turn this all the way to zero, the light is really evenly distributed across the entire volume. Let's just keep that to 0 0.2. And that's the same for this material. This is just a, if I've understood it correctly, a multiplier on top of the overall height fog amount. And then we have extinction, which is, I mean, simply it's an alpha. So that's why at the end of this sphere mask, I've just multiplied this texture sample and everything that's black, you just like a normal alpha, you won't see. So that's how we can get this square volume rather than just a round one that you might expect to see. So, right, it has to compile again. We talked about the scattering distribution and as Epic themselves stated, the only way to get this sort of nice side coming effect from volumetric fog is to have this set somewhere close to zero rather than close to 0 0.9 or anything like that. So that's good to remember. Now, what about the cost? How costly is this for the GPU? Well, we can just simply press Control Shift, comma to get our GPU visualizer. And let's say duration, go into the scene. And then here in volumetric fog, you can see it takes 1.83 milliseconds. The shadows cost quite a lot or a little bit at least. And if we turn off the volumetrics and do this again, you can see that the actual particle system voxelized volume primitive, they don't actually cost that much. And uh, yeah, let's play, let's see. As you can see, everything works as intended inside of play mode as well. Looks pretty darn awesome, this volumetric effect. And if you actually put it correctly in a scene, yeah, that's gonna be a winner. I hope this has been useful for you. If it has, do subscribe. I've just returned to Unreal. After a year of having barely touched the engine, and now I'm making uh, the game with this little guy, Lech, in. It's called Echo Tales, my item shop. And it's a story about you as you try to become an item shop owner. It's got some really nice RPG mechanics in it. And it's all about consumerism. So, Verica, F yeah. Check it out on Facebook. At Echo Tales Game. And uh, the same on Twitter, at Ecotales Game. And if you're interested in tutorials and possibly learning more about the Unreal Engine and following that game as it comes along, you should check out blog.kjinteractive.net, where I'll be posting a lot of possibly and hopefully interesting things for fellow Unreal devs to, to read about. That's it. Thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, please give a like and a subscribe. And if you really didn't like it, please tell me why. I would really like to know so I can make future videos better. Hey, up.